guys. Welcome to part two of pinecone crafting. So we decided to put it into three different sections so it's easier for you guys to watch. If you want to just watch one version, you can watch that one first and then save the other one for later. So this one is going to be pinecone owls. Stay tuned. Also, if you missed our first episode, you missed us shopping for the details for the supplies for this from the Dollar Tree and only one item from Walmart. So just watch the first episode if you're not sure what to use, but we do list some of the items here. So stay tuned. Again, let's dive in. Number two, pinecone owls. Variation of these two owls we're going to do today. Things you need. Dollar Tree cotton. Googly eyes. Felt. Construction paper. Pine cones. More pine cones. And hot glue gun, of course. Let's do some crafts! <laughs> Before we use our glue gun, we're going to make sure we have something to put it under like this, but not with plastic. So the hot glue as it comes out of the glue gun doesn't melt or ruin our nice table. Here we have a recycled piece of paper. We're gonna use that. I'm gonna put this guy here, let him heat up for a few minutes, and we'll be right back. And in the meantime, we're gonna get our pine cones ready. And we're gonna take some googly eyes out. I'm gonna choose some googly eyes, and we're gonna unfluff these cotton balls. Look at how cool this is. This is actual cotton from the cotton plant. These were at the Dollar Tree. How cool is that? Got our cotton all selected. So I don't have a ton of cotton for me because we only got one packet of cotton balls. We could have gotten two, but we only got one. So we're going to divvy it up just for the purpose of demonstrating this. But uh, so I got two. I'm going to try and do mine. We're going to basically fill in the spots in between these. Okay. So I'm just gonna do the front of mine. I'm not gonna do the entire one. If you wanted a full effect, you could do all around the entire pine cone. Ding, ding! You know what we forgot? A pencil! Let's go get a pencil. And a pencil. A pencil with a tip, that is. Fluff goes in here. Glue gun already, see? He's already leaking on us. Okay, so we're gonna take our hot glue gun and you're gonna put a tiny, baby bit in between the pine cone pieces, right there, okay? Let's do it. Put it in there, just a tiny, put it all the way in there. Put a tiny bit in, just a tiny. Now, we're gonna take our tip with the pencil, and we're gonna take a small amount of cotton, since you have a tiny, baby pine cone. You can take a baby bit of cotton, grab your cotton and stick it in between and push it down in with your pencil. All right, so we've got our glue gun, got our pine cone here, See your pine cone. We're gonna put a little bit of glue in between the quills of the pine cone right there. See in there? We're gonna take a little bit of cotton. Eh. Working against the clock here so it doesn't dry on me. All right, we're gonna push this here. Make sure you don't burn your fingers. Take our pencil. I'm gonna push it on inside there. So when it, once it's pushed all the way in, it'll connect to the glue that's in there. There you go, there's one. Abigail's got the glue gun. She's gonna put some glue in between the quills of the pine cone. I guess that's what they're called, quills, who knows. Puts a little bit in there, okay. Got some in there. Now you're gonna take your cotton ball, quickly. You're gonna stuff it in there and push it in there with the pencil so it sticks to the glue. Tuck it in there nice and tight. And see, as she tucks it in, look, you turn it this way. 
looks like he's got fluff. So that we should probably put a little bit more in there, I think, just so it would be nice and full. Put some more glue in between the two quills. Stuff that cotton in. Push it in with the pencil so you don't burn your fingers. Nice. And then we'll just even it out so you can see the quills of the pine cone. There we go. Progress. I'm going to only do the front for this guy. There's another one. And the little itty bitty pond. It's already fluffy. Here we are just stuffing all of the fluff into the rest of this pine cone. And we sped it up just so you don't sit there listening to me <laughs> talk. You want to do a craft too? Boots. Hi, Boot. All right, so I've done this half. I'm almost done with this part here, but I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna chop off this, oops. I'm gonna chop off this bottom part of the pine cone and show you what I got. Here goes nothing. Poor pine cone. Oi. I'm gonna need better scissors. <laughs> Sick of the chopping board. Okay, so probably not the best way to do this. You could probably get some wire clippers or something. It's a lot better, but I just used what we had on hand. Oh, it smells good. This poor pine cone. <laughs> I have downsized my pine cone. Dun, dun, dun. We'll save this for another project. And here's the finished product. Well, halfway finished product. We still gotta put legs on and wings and eyeballs and okay, we'll be right back. So I've got some googly eyes. And she's got some pink eyes, and he's got a whole bunch of eyes. Oh, he's got two little bitty red eyes. Now we're gonna cut out some circles from our felt here, because we only have black and white felt for this particular project. So we're gonna cut out some black circles for around the eyes. I'm gonna do a fancy shape for mine. And then we're gonna cut out some wings and some feet. And we'll do those out of these different felts. So. All right, I just cut out this shape here. Mustache, I mean, face. Just gonna cut out some circles for his eyes. We're gonna measure for our wings, run about here. All right, now we're gonna use our construction paper, which comes with different colors. We're gonna make a beak. John's gonna pick yellow for his beak. I'm gonna make an extra layer on my wings. <laughs> Alright, so I do have a piece of pipe cleaner that was left over in our craft box from something else we did. So I'm gonna make some feet with it. There's one foot. I'm gonna put these feet on. Oh, look at that. Now I'm gonna cut out my nose. My turn to glue my feet on. Ooh. 
send us pictures of your owls that you've created. We'd love to see them. If you like this sort of content that we provide, please let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and thumbs up and send to your friends. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate the support. And now on to episode part three of three, which is going to be pine cone flowers. Stay tuned. This one's my favorite and it's going to be pretty awesome. You can watch that episode here at the top of the screen or on our playlist.